Definition. Charles Law Charles Law state that the volume of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature assuming the quantity of gas and pressure remain constant V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. Charles Law, or the law of volume, is an ideal gas law that states that the volume and temperature of a fixed amount of gas are proportional at constant pressure. Doubling the temperature of a gas double its volume. Halving the temperature of a gas halve its volume the law takes its name from French scientist Jacques Charles who formulated the law in the 70s. Charles law states that increasing the temperature of a gas at constant pressure increases its volume. Formula There are a few ways to state Charles law as a formula. V is proportional to T. V over T equals K, V equals KT, V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2, V2 over V1 equals T2 over T1, V1 T2 equals V2 T1. Here, T is absolute temperature, V is volume, and K is an unzero constant. Note that absolute temperature means Celsius and Fahrenheit temperature must be converted to Kelvin. The graph of volume versus pressure shows the linear relationship. Also, the line points toward the origin, although a gas could never reach it because it would change into a liquid or solid first. Example It is easy to find the example of Charles' law in everyday life. Balloons fly based on the Charles' law, heating the air in the balloon increases the balloon's volume. This decreases its density so the balloon rises in the air to calm down chilling the air not heating it allows the balloons to deflate the gas become more dense and the balloon sinks If you take a filled balloon outside on a hot day it expand it may pop If you take it outdoors on a winter day it depletes but returns to its normal volume when you take it indoors again. You can even use a balloon as a poor sort of thermo thermometer using charge law. Find the final temperature of a sample of nitrogen gas at constant pressure if it's tight at 27 Celsius and change volume from 600 ml to 700 ml. First, convert the temperature to Kelvin, T1 equal to 273 plus 27, T1 equal to 300 K. Charles' law calculation requires temperature on an absolute scale, such as the Kelvin scale. So, using the formula requires converting from Celsius or Fahrenheit to Kelvin. If you fill a helium balloon in a warm or hot room and then take it into a cold room, it shrinks up and looks like it has lost some of the air inside. Nope.